So people teach this theory that every time you see Israel in the New Testament, that you should insert church in place of that. It's an interesting theory, but it begins to fall apart pretty quickly, especially Matthew 24, where a certain people group are warned not to travel on a Sabbath day's journey. Do we as the church worry about whether it's a Sabbath day or not? No. Do the Jewish people? Yes. So the word is pertinent to them, but not to us. So apparently that whole replacement thing begins to fall apart. And here's why that's important. We're talking about the character and the personality of God. Because here's what the theory is. The Israelites were chosen by God. But like all people, they had problems with obedience. So at times they were disobedient. At times they were even rebellious. And so after this, God finally said, you know what? There's a line that's invisible that you crossed. And now I am breaking my covenants with you. And I'm adopting these new people, these Gentiles. Why as we, as Gentiles, why would we have an issue with that? Because if God broke his covenant with Israel because of their rebellion or disobedience, what chance do we stand? That means God can break his covenant with us. That means these promises of salvation and eternal life, that God doesn't have to honor them. You see how this falls apart and it's an attack on the very character of God. 